hello again YouTube um, making this video uh, make a few things a little bit um, more clear or something like that however you want to say that a few questions I've gotten um, to clarify some stuff this is a organic I-beam uh, it's bass fiber the stringy part of the hemp um, it's used this is with epoxy so I've not beat on it or nothing um, and it was a really cheap epoxy too. You can get epoxy that can be struck, and this one just can't. Uh, any kind of real blow, it'll, it'll uh, um, the epoxy will shatter, is what happens. So I've not really tested this one. It can support, you know, a few hundred pounds, um, and it's three thirty seconds of an inch, the web, and it's only two inches um, tall. So I mean, comparatively, if, if that would have been, say, three eighths or half inch thick. Um, with uh, just you know maybe a, a 12 inch web you know I mean something real it would be it's it's more than structural is what I'm trying to get at and um, just change the epoxy um, so it can be struck later that, would, that was just one thing I found out the weakness on this epoxy that I bought um, and I ain't gonna bad mouth nobody there that was my fault um, this one is what I was trying for here and this is what the whole video is kind of about. Um, this was handmade, and so I was looking for a way to, um, you know, machine it, to make it, uh, manufacture it. And so I was coming up with a column, and, um, and one thing you want to do, the PVC works extremely well to mold it, and you can even heat the, end, heat the ends of the PVC, mold, shape the PVC into the... Um, into the shape that you want it to extrude just like you would extrude aluminum and um and just make a pass-through system and i ain't you know telling anybody no great big things there but um can it be done oh yeah i have no problem but the one thing i was wanting to say is i used to use six inch um ingot molds and i was thinking man this is coming out really good and um so let's step it up and make it bigger and taller so we can extrude something and, and step it up to the next notch. I forgot to um, wax and caribum. I probably I'm a redneck hillbilly, so you know, say that right when I say it wrong. Um, but get this kind of wax, not you know, so much the name brand, but it is a good wax. I mean, these guys did a great product. Um, but if you uh, wax the inside of your PVC, it'll never do this. Um, and this is a PLA adhesive, so it will stick to almost anything, but not that. Um, but what I'm going to do is chisel some of that out, and I'm going to repair the worst of this column. I think that's the end that's worst. And, um, and then I'm going to wrap it with a girdling of bass fiber. And it's kind of cheating. I know I probably won't test it, or I will, outside the, the realm, because the girdling... Um, you'd think, well, that's just silly cloth, but it's bass fiber, so it's no longer silly cloth. Um, everything about this stuff, you got to remember what it was made from, hemp, which is stronger than steel, the bass is. Um, it, it's stronger than concrete. It's lighter than concrete. So many properties, it's crazy. Um, but to get back to this, I'm going to cut this in half, use the bottom half for testing, uh, fix the top half and then wrap it with a with a girdling and probably test it for strength um, but it'll kind of be cheating because the girdling makes it too strong and um, but here we have one that's in Portland this is the everything's the same thing the same generalized mix now one thing I do do is check out another video down there somewhere is this stuff is purposely ground not ground that's a bad term crushed it's crushed in in um, needed in the uh, and that's what makes it this crazy level of strong um, it, it's strong enough just the way it is i mean this would be almost like anybody would build a house except it's been purposely crushed to make this and this is still fresh but it has a a distinct ring to it and in in reality i would have put about one third more um lime into this but what i deliberately shorted it is i wanted to show people the structure people don't realize when it when it calcifies um it's basically turning it to bone now you can change the composition 
um, and do mag uh, magnesium um, oxide and uh, chloride in both magnesium chloride flake and um, and change this change this to stone instead of bone you change the hemp lime to a stone um, deal and this was with the epoxy and this is this is a pretty unique one um, the most dense I've gotten it and basically it's just the addition of bentonite um, I cheated with this this is a, a thin set material that just has bentonite in it and um, but uh, um, but definitely I, I can't make them ring with one hand but it has a ring like stone. I mean, it's, it's. And no, my casting is not perfect. And I have no pressure to extrude. And that's why a lot of my stuff is not perfect. And so when I test it, know that it's imperfect. And when it, um, when it still can do insanely strong stuff, you know, if it was made correctly, then it would be insane. Um, the the properties of what i'm trying to get at now this is a, a front end and i was so vindicated today when i set this all up is i don't know if the video is going to pick it up but see the discoloration in the in the adhesive it froze so this was just put out before its time it was literally lifting a 5500 pound front end when it gave out on the third lift it was still holding up the truck but it gave out um, I didn't at the time it was covered in frost, but it was negative seven that morning and it had fro it had snowed that night um, Southern Colorado snows vertical here um, Or it can come in, you know horizontal is what I'm trying to get at and uh, And so I didn't think nothing of it until I brought it up and I looked at it again I made it into a planter and so there's no toxicity to any of the stuff that I'm using um, even Portland the in before people berate Portland for what it is, um, the difference between Portland in lime, in which is hydrated lime, is which I used here, is only a few hundred degrees. They they produce just as much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, this goes through another process, which adds more. Uh, give them that. Um, you change that to magnesium, which is basically like a health food product, and you won't have that. But uh, but for certain properties, as I was going for fire resistance on this one um, down there, there's another video. And what this went through um, was just wrong. But it did degrade a little bit. The um, it degraded with the with um, about an inch and a half where it dug out, and that's what got the hole for the planters where I had a torch like zeroed in on that spot. And when I was Clean, when I did all this, it um, the thermal damage got to about here, which this is maybe five inches, so maybe an inch and a half of it. And um, but the rest of it's pretty solid. Uh, but it it look at the other videos. I don't want to say something then say something wrong. But for the damage and the length of time, it was like over 600 degrees for like nine hours. It was a ridiculous test. Um, in reality, you could have dumped gasoline or diesel fuel on the home, lit it on fire. The gas would have burned out well before this test would have ever run its course. And it was a three-term test. So um, that's what this thing lasted through was crazy. Uh, I have made it like I keep going back to the magnesium. And um, you can make it 100% fireproof where you couldn't do this damage even if you tried. It's just not possible to damage it anymore, um, and it petrifies it to stone. But what happens is, like this, I was deliberately trying to make it dense because I want to make a outer column wrap. Um, it's strong enough to support quite a bit of weight, but what I'm looking for is to thermally hold energy um, to wrap it in PEX tubing, you know, 18 inches around. Um, wrap it in PEX tubing and then finish it off so the columns in the house are actually the um, a source of heat for the home in the um, another thing I got to say about and no matter whether it's lime uh, like this where it has bentonite in it um, you know a, a thin set it's called stabilized is all it is it's, it's stabilized Portland um, or stabilized lime either way uh, thin set is just stabilized it has something in it 
whether it's acrylic or latex or um, bentonite, to make it sticky is what it comes down to. And pliable so it can be struck. This can be struck where this can't. Um, this uh, regular Portland is on a, a three by six ingot like this can only lift up 2,000 pounds. That's it. it it'll shatter before 2,000 pounds. Um, now this has the has the hemp in it. It's considerably stronger. Wrapped with a girdle, it well, it it's exponentially even stronger yet. Um, but can it crack and all that? Yeah, it can. Um, one of the biggest tests that I want to do is I want to take the girdling and the um, this is extremely light by comparison to the rest of these is I want to take the girdling in this and then mix it with magnesium um, and turn it to stone and and see what kind of properties that has and especially for the thermal mass that's that's another thing and um, but this was an excreted project like I said do as I say don't do as I did because you will really hate yourself um, wax the mold uh, it comes out really nice. Use a good wax. This Carabum, whoever the manufacturer is, um, that's probably irrelevant. But these guys, McGuire, I got. I'll I'll, I'll name them off. Um, they did a great job. I've used it for fiber for all kinds of molding. Um, it will release everything from everything if you remember to use it. That's the one big key. Um, and what else to say? That's about it on this video. I think. I think I've covered every question, especially this one. It was not, it was a, I got to redo this one. This is hollow too. Um, this has less material than a three inch ignit. And um, it's, it's five inches diameter, but less than one inch in band. So it's basically like a piece of OSB. And, um, and like I challenged anybody, you try to pick up a 5,000 pound front end of a truck with a piece of OSB, Jethro, it ain't going to work. Um, that strength that's unreal but it was the adhesive it just um, again and I, I judged it prematurely when I said it but I wasn't wrong the, the, the adhesive failed it froze and um, it even discolored quite a bit so but um, what else that's it folks um, I thank you for your time and this is all hemp and it can do way way more than this um, this is the planet that, I mean, this is the plant that needs to be on planet Mars. Not only to breathe its atmosphere, but to give us back oxygen, to provide any form of building material. Um, the seed can provide the oil to, um, to make an eco-resin way stronger than any of this. And the plant itself can make itself fairly strong. You can pulp this down, the same material right here, pulp it put the magnesium to it and literally turn it to stone in any thickness the thickness of like this i mean what would you do with the stone i beam i'm not real sure um but the but like to to do the girdling or you know the the fabric the bass fiber you could drape that um the the bast is not going to go anywhere it, it's good for about 70 years i mean it's not going to rot it's not going to do any of those things just unaffected um, bury it in magnesium and a magnesium cement, um, bury it in regular concrete. It, it's fine. Um, it's super strong, you know, bury it in a, in a thin set kind of material like that, a, a stabilized, uh, Portland, um, lime, you know, I, the product didn't tell me if it was Portland or lime, so I can't tell you one way or the other. Um, I'm going to say it was more than like lime than Portland because people normally brag about Portland in, um, Oh, here was another one, too. I forgot all about this one. This is uh, this is just orientated. The The strength on this one, check out the video. Um, it's holding up like 300 pounds in, in its just fiber. That's it. Um, nothing like a ceiling tile. I mean, literally, um, nothing more. And everything here is extremely light. The The material is as light as balsa. So... Um, but the strength is not there. Check out some of the other videos, like I said. And if you like them, hey, do that like them, subscribe thing, wherever them buttons are, you know. And I appreciate for your time just watching these videos. And I know they're abstract and they're quirky and all that kind of stuff. And I, I do appreciate your co your comments 
and I enjoyed um, answering them. And if I can show you a better way to do this and make it stronger, I'm all about that. Um, if you want to do the Puritan limestone, hey, I'm not knocking the stuff. Listen, that's petrified, and, and that's less material than I would normally use. So um, it would be better than this is what I'm trying to get at. This is just to show people what it looks like on the inside. You can't show somebody uh, this and say, oh, it looks like that. People don't have an imagination. I mean, they just see that, and that's that's as far as they go. That's why some of these are cut apart. Um, on the outside, it looks like how it was cast. On the inside, quite different. Let's see that. If you can see it. There we go. See, on the inside, quite different than the way it was cast. So that's why I do what I do, and that's why this one was done like it is, but it's it needs more to make it like you would make a house. This is less. Um, this is way overkill. This was for thermal mass, um, and it is the definite winner. Bentonite, add bentonite if you want thermal mass in your stuff. And powdered sand. Get the sand as powdered as you humanly can, or use limestone. Same thing. And limestone, I'm, I'm thinking, is going to be the wonder for the, the magnesium also, for um, thermal mass. Because magnesium has one property, it cannot transmit thermal heat. Um, and this cannot transmit thermal heat. Check out the video. 600 degrees for nine hours on one side. The top of the, the, top of the tile was less than five degrees, never got more than five degrees of ambient air. Um, and that's over the top of a wood stove that was raging, that I had to keep open and fed um, to get it to those temperatures. And um, so the material can handle way, way more uh, than its binder. And that's what we're working on now, is a magnesium binder, a stabilized magnesium binder. Um, and the stabilization would be for thermal mass or for, you know, heat disposition. It can do that all by itself. The heat dispos disposition, I can't say that word. Okay, think redneck hillbilly, I'm sorry. Um uh, dispensation, yeah, dispensation of it all. And, um, and again, when you're doing your testing, remember the bass fiber, um, <laughs> uh, it changes everything, the girdling. And if, if it's put on like this, there you go, it has to be, it, it's, um, what I have an ex wife and she would know what that's called, um, bias on, on the bias. She was like the wizard of 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 sewing, um, but I think that's the name of it. But if you put the girdling on on that the bias the the cross of the thing, um, in just exponentially stronger again. And um, any of these could be excluded um, through the you know being made um, with a machine. The girdling could be added afterwards it, it as it was be after the exclusion before it's cured the girdling can be added straight into it the girdling actually even holds um like a, a texture you can i've used it here on the counter i played with it is the um to you can do anything with it is what i'm trying to get at there's nothing there's not much you can't do with that um with that material and that it's hard it's extremely hard um, okay that's as far as i can go on this and way way long and windy and i'm if you made it to the end of this may you be blessed i thank y'all and um again thank you for your time and support and all that happy stuff not like anybody gives me nothing but if you do adhesive would be good material would be great i got some uh, contact for that um um other than that, I don't know. I need a few test projects. You want to build hemp? Let's go. Uh, I think I have a couple edges that might help. So, All right. Thank you, people. Bye-bye.